Along with the e-tron GT Audi introduced at the beginning of 2021, a sportier version, the 2021 Audi RS e-tron GT, that could blow away an RS7 at any time, will soon be released. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. While Audi began its electric car journey with the e-tron SUV, some crave the joy of being on the road in a beautiful vehicle that also happens to be quick and powered by electricity. For those people, there's an answer the Audi RS e-tron GT, the high-performance version of the upcoming electric sedan. The all-wheel drive, dual-motor RS e-tron GT will produce 637 horsepower and 612 FTLBS of torque, pushing it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3.5 seconds. This is not bad for a car that weighs about 5,100 pounds. The dual motor horsepower split will be 449 HP for the rear motor and 235 HP for the front motor. The 93.4 kilowatt hour battery pack is standard and 83.7 kilowatt hour of that is the usable capacity. The weight and location of the battery pack give the RS e-tron GT a lower center of gravity than the Audi R8. 2021 Audi RS e-tron GT promises to give you about 300 miles of range, but as with all electric cars, it's likely the real-world range will be a bit less than that. Now, about what happens inside the car. Audi resisted the urge to give the RS e-tron an interior that looks specific to an electric car. The RS design package comprises microfiber material on the hood of the instrument panel carrier, the steering wheel, and the center console trim, with red or gray stitching adding highlights. The floor carpet and floor mats are made from Econil in both models. This material consists of 100% recycled nylon fibers from production waste, fabric and carpet remnants, or old fishing nets. Recycled materials are found throughout the cabin as an affirmation of the car's eco-friendly nature, but the seats can be wrapped in Nappa leather if customers require. Users often love the available polyester fiber seat covers, as they provide a unique look not found in other performance luxury cars. Looking forward, drivers are treated to a 12.3-inch virtual cockpit display, while passengers will rely on a 10.1-inch MMI touchscreen infotainment system. One thing both vehicles share is quick charging and the ability to precondition the battery ahead of reaching a charging point along a route. The RS e-tron GT supports 800 volt DC fast charging up to 270 kilowatts, and its rear motor has a two-speed gearbox. Audi claims that just five minutes will recover 100 kilometers, or 62 miles, of range when hooked up to a high-speed charging network like Volkswagen's Electrify America. It is estimated that the RS e-tron GT can travel 232 miles on a charge based on the EPA cycle and go from 5% to 80% battery capacity in under 23 minutes. 2021 Audi RS e-tron GT will offer 19, 20 and 21 inch wheels. It is believed that the 20 inch wheels are the most aerodynamic. A four wheel steering system is available, which can turn the rear wheels up to three degrees. It can either turn the rear wheels in the opposite direction as the fronts at low speeds or in the same direction for lane changes at higher speeds. Stopping power is available in three flavors traditional steel disc brakes, carbon fiber ceramic discs, or surface coated steel discs. As with most EVs, the braking will be handled by both the friction brakes and the regenerative braking system. Audi says the RS e-tron GT will arrive in showrooms in the United States in the summer of 2021 and will go on sale later in the same year. At $139,900, the RS e-tron GT costs exactly $40,000 more than the base model. It also slots cleanly between the $103,800 Porsche Taycan 4S and the $150,900 Taycan Turbo. What do you think about the 2021 Audi RS e-tron GT? Would you like to get one of these beauties on wheels? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.